Hey you guys, Natalie and Tommy here and welcome back to Hey It's A Good Life. We are so glad you're here because today we are planting out the green stock. We're gonna show you guys what we're doing to kind of revitalize our soil and what we're planting in it and why I love it so much. Um, you've already had a little bit of experience with it today. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about it? Uh, pretty easy. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I really wanted to show you guys that any gardener can do this in any space. So, so Tommy is a beginning gardener and we have a small space and you guys know I love to make the most of small spaces. And really this green stock makes it possible whether you're a new gardener, a gardener for a long time, or if you have a big space or a small space, it's such a great solution to growing vertically and growing in a small space which i love and of course i love to share them with you and of course when there's a deal i have to tell you guys about it so please do go check out the deal you can now get the five tier leaf for 99 the seven tier leaf for 129 and when you use my code goodlife at checkout you get ten dollars off your whole offer and don't forget to check out the ultimate spinner mine is on its way here and i'm so excited it's really cool. It's basically like a lazy Susan for your green stock. So make sure you check that out while you're over there. Thanks so much for joining us today. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. All right, so I'm going to set up the mover base. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just the base, six wheels, a drain hose, and a cap uh, until we get our, what's it called? Ultimate spinner? Ultimate spinner, yeah. Ultimate spinner. That sounds like fun. Uh, anyway, this is the drain hose. It just lets you redirect the water to a different location rather than just depositing under the wheels. Um, okay, so you've got these double casters, kind of like, uh, kind of like a computer chair. So this is just gonna pop in. Super simple. Um, and three of these are locking. They have little brakes on them, so you can decide how you want to uh, position those, whether you want three next to each other or if you want to alternate. I'm going to go ahead and alternate so that I can always access a brake. Smart. Okay, this is another regular one, so I'll put it there. And these last two are braking wheels. So I'll just pop those in. So easy. <laughs> like, come on. All right. Last two bits are the drain hose and there is a cap as well. So the cap, uh, the purpose of the cap is if you have, for example, um, this indoors for whatever reason, you don't want the water draining uh, until you can control it. So you can cap this off and then go ahead and take it outside and drain it out there. Okay. So you'd put the cap at the end of that? Um, you'd put it on this portion here. You wouldn't have the tube on. Oh, this I won't, see. This won't fit over the tube. So this would be if you have it <clears throat> just on like uh, the inside of a sliding door or something where it gets light. Mm -hmm. You don't want the water draining out. Um, that makes sense. So you would cap it off like that. I see. Okay, and then you can go ahead and drain it outside. For us, we're keeping it outside, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. That way we can just redirect the water somewhere else. Okay, and that's it. It's so easy. All right, so some of you have asked like how do you rotate this? Why is it always facing the same direction? And it's because I didn't have my mover base set up. So now that I have it set up, I can rotate this and we can plant in every single cell, which is super exciting. So now we're just gonna pull apart the green stock and fill it up with soil. I can see it all clear from above. So while Tommy's pulling this apart, I just wanna explain something that essentially each tier comes with a little watering disc. If you wanna see how I put this together originally, you can check out this video right here. Um, it's really, really simple. You just insert the watering disc on top of each tier and then stack each tier on top of the next tier. There are lots of spiders around here, so I'm cleaning out the crevasses. <laughs> yeah, so just a word to the wise when you're working with worms or with these garden towers, sometimes, you know, they're a great home for spiders. So just to avoid interaction with uh, any, any little spoties that we don't want to interact with, we like to just kind of hose things off or brush it out. So to add the soil, the first thing we're gonna do is remove each of the watering discs. Hey, Vanna White, remove the watering discs. Oh yeah? So first things first, we're gonna remove all of the watering discs. <laughs> what is that? As slowly as possible, so Natalie looks really awkward here all by herself. <laughs> Last thing to note on soil, sometimes soil includes biosolids, which is like just a fancy way of saying poop. Uh, and so 
you really don't want that on your hands. I mean, it's not like the biggest deal in the world, but also kind of is gross. So <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go get some gloves and then we're gonna add the soil. Also, while Tommy's grabbing our gloves, I just wanted to show you what the old soil looks like. So you can see it's still pretty dark and still has quite a bit of moisture. So it's not completely like dead or dried out. It's really just that top la layer that's a little bit crunchy. And so that's why we're gonna be adding some new soil. That's your pink gloves. Hey, my pink gloves. All right, let's add our soil. Okay guys, I'm so excited. It's getting hot, so we're gonna try and work in the shade, but I wanna show you how easy to this, this is to move on the mover. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So these are basil that I planted myself, and as you can see, there's three basil stems here, and I went ahead and top these off what is, what is it called snipped the tops off and there is some caterpillar damage if you have anything like that I would just recommend removing any of those leaves that got damaged and if your basil is getting rather tall like more than six inches I would also say go ahead and snip that so that it gives it an opportunity to push out what you're doing when you remove the top like that is you're sending the hormone to branch out in other places and so anytime that you're snipping the top off a part of a plant, it's just redirecting that growth hormone called auxin, I believe. So um, whenever your plant starts to look a little leggy, you can go ahead and just top them off like that and send that hormone in a new direction. So Tommy just asked a really good question of like, okay, so how do we actually plant these? So what I like to do is I like to massage the root ball that you have something that looks like this. And then I'll take basically a handful of soil out, save it in the cell next to it, plant it, and then take what I displaced earlier to cover up the remaining roots. I'm new to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. You're doing great. How's this look? It looks amazing. So you may notice that I'm very quick, but Tommy's very accurate. So together we make a good team. He's noticing that some of these little plants could use some pruning. So he's pruning off any dead leaves, which is good because it will help with plant growth. Meanwhile, I'm going through and going as quickly as I can while the baby sleeps <laughs> to get these things planted. planted some of the plants I like to make sure that they get enough water so I water all along the outside as well as in the top well. We have planted three different kinds of strawberries. We have planted bush green beans. We've also planted tomatillo and pineapple ground cherry as well as sweet basil. And that's it. Everything's been watered and our green stock is established. Just a couple tips to help you guys get started. Um, if you do notice that your soil does kind of decrease in volume after you've watered, just keep some soil on hand nearby and you can kind of add to it as needed, where needed. 
and I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory to have one of these things. I hope this really encourages you that whether you're a beginning gardener like Tommy, or you've got a small space like us, you can absolutely grow food no matter where you are. I find the green stock so encouraging for that, and I hope it encourages you too. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Please do use my link down below. It's a free way to support our channel when you buy a green stock through us. Also use my code goodlife for $10 off at checkout and be sure to tool around their website and see what else they have. They're coming out with really cool things like supports for bigger plants as well as that ultimate ultimate spinner. So it's like a lazy Susan for your planter. Really cool things happening over at Greenstock, which don't forget is family owned and operated and everything is made in the USA. And I love to support companies like that. So thank you for joining me and supporting a USA family owned and operated business that I just have grown to love so much because it makes gardening possible no matter where you are. Whether you're a beginning gardener, whether you've got a small space, whether you're older or you've got mobility issues, I really have found that this has been a great garden for us and I absolutely love it. We'll be taking them everywhere we go. So yeah, I love the green stock. I hope you guys do too. Be sure to use that link down below. Good life gets you $10 off at checkout. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. I hope this video encourages you. Until next time, bye.